TFA 1024, where your entertainment will be transformed! <laughs> Oh, weep, grog, now weep, ninny bong, my fellow addicts. This is TFA1024, the TF Addict here, coming to you with yet another TFA review. And similar to how we took a look at Meteor Fire not too long ago, today we continue with his Trooper Class Wave Mate. We're looking at the Transformers Bumblebee Cyberverse Adventures Battle Call Trooper Class Wild Wheel. Ban it, You make my wheels spin. I don't know. <laughs> My all-time favorite Transformers character from Transformers Cyberverse. I adore the aesthetic of this character. I adore the whole motif of this character. You know what he is? You want to know legitimately what he is? He is Clint Eastwood Con. I kid you not. When you see the episode Wild Wild Wheel, or Wild 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 Wheel, you're... You, 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 you'll like him. I like him. He's my favorite. <laughs> He's so cool. As you can see... He transforms into a Cybertronian car or dune buggy or some sort of Cybertronian vehicle. This is not something you would see on Earth. I know that very much for, for sure. Um, lighting's a little off. Sorry about that. You have a very nice brown plastic, which is something I rarely never say. Um, and honestly, it, it, it doesn't really look too bad. I don't think we've had that many brown transformers. So the purple one, the purple windshield, though, I really... Think that's pretty it actually like really pops out and you also have some very nice aesthetic choices with like um accents of silver and uh a little bit of black here and that mainly black for the tires but you get all this like nice metallic silver here for a 30 dollar figure of such simplicity it looks really good i personally like him now i would normally do size comparisons with like everyone um but the only size comparison i think that really matters is once again here he is with whirl and you can see that uh, it doesn't really do much for him. I mean, he's almost about the size of a deluxe anyway. So, let's go ahead and get Wild Wheel from his beautiful, cool-looking vehicle mode into his robot mode. So, let's begin the transformation. To start off, um, he is pegged in multiple different areas. He's got pegs in the back, obviously. He's got pegs up here in the front. Me, personally, I try to build from the ground up, but in this uh, certain case... Tackling up here is a lot easier. So what you want to do is you kind of want to pull out the arms a little bit because you can see there's a peg right there and then there's also slots and everything right there. So try and pull out the arms just a little bit because what you want to do is you want to get enough clearance for that because this whole hood section also connects. So you're going to want to pull this down. Pull the, Maybe I'll zoom out a little bit so you can see. Sorry, I'm not a professional. I'm trying... And you can see how everything kind of opens up here. And then try to angle these down a little bit. And make sure this is unpegged all the way. Like so. And then come in here. And fold out the legs. And they do have very snite. Very, very snite. Very tight locking joints. As well. And then split those. Try to, um, yeah, there you go. Lock it in. So you hear it click like this. That was a nice one. And we have his legs transformed. But of course you can't see. Because again, not a professional. So there's that. Now this whole section back here, there's a peg right there on his butt. All you have to do is flip this whole thing down and there's a slot right there. Right, right there. And peg it in. Take the arms. Rotate them downward at that hinge. Rotate them at... The bicep and you essentially have wild wheel transformed into vehicle mode after you rotate these forward giving him those nice shoulder pads but you're obviously curious where's his hat i think this is the first transformers toy that has ever come with a hat so yes you can take off the hat for transformation put it on him and now you got clint eastwood con AKA Cyberverse Wild Wheel in his very Western inspired robot mode. And I very much like this. I would have loved it if they had a poncho to come with him because he in the in the cartoon he does have like a like a cyber meshed poncho. But unfortunately that's not the case here. Uh 
and it doesn't really take anything away from the figure. Again, they kind of give us more of a concept art uh, design more so than the actual design he has in the cartoon, which I'm fine with. And he too also has the whole battle call thing, but it, I'll demonstrate that here in a minute. Um, there is really no head articulation on these guys. It's all one solid piece. You can see right there, there's a screw. Um, his articulation is very standard. The shoulders can rotate 360 degrees. They can go, he can pop his hat off, obviously. They can go in and out that far. Um, they can even go out that far, which is honestly a pretty good range of movement. So he has like a, like a butterfly ball joint type thing going on. The biceps can obviously go forward and back more for transformation. The elbows can bend a little over 90 degrees and they can rotate 360 degrees on that ball jointed swivel. There is nothing at the waist. There's, there's no waist articulation on these guys, but his legs can kick forward that far, can go back that far. If you cheat and unpeg the back section of the car, can go back that far. If you also want to give him a nice knee bend, just pop it out and he can have a very nice over 90 degree knee bend. And there's nothing at the feet whatsoever, unfortunately. Put your hat back on there, cowboy. Now, another thing that I thoroughly really love about Wild Wheel is the fact that this dude actually comes with a bunch of accessories, but the functionality of where they are is just, oh, just awesome. I really like it. So for his Energon armor, he comes with a couple spiky bits. He comes with like a mask slash bandana type thing. And he comes with two pistols. And we normally have Transformers who have holsters for swords, you know, like um, scabbards. But Wild Wheel takes it above and beyond. This dude actually has working holsters. So you can take the gun and actually put them right in here in the cavity of his leg. And they will stay there. <laughs> and that made me so happy when I unboxed this guy on Instagram. Uh, it's just really, really freaking cool. Like, I love when Transformers decides to do stuff like that. I, I love this overall aesthetic. The whole cowboy aesthetic for me just works so well. I, I honestly could not be disappointed with it at all. I really wish that it was a little more, um, not really simplistic. I wish it was a little more involved. But for what it is, I'm so glad that Wild Wheel is a character that exists in the Transformers lore now. Because he's just... He is Clint Eastwood Con. I will keep saying that until the day I lose breath. And since we're kind of talking about weapons and such, he does also come with the mask shield thing. So all you do is just peg it into these two ports up here on his chest. And he doesn't come with a face covering, but he does come with a mouth covering. So you can give him like a little bandana type deal. And then for some reason he comes with these two weird looking um, spiky bits which I don't exactly know how they peg in. I think they go up here, go like this. I mean, you can do it like that as well. I think that's the proper orientation, but I like the shoulder pads facing outward. So then you can just peg these dudes in right up here. And you can peg this one in. This one likes to fight me. And now you have like a armored up version of Wild Wheel. I, 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 I get the whole thing, but like it just eh, doesn't, it doesn't do it for me. I do like the working holsters though. And of course, just like Meteor Fire, if you want to, you can turn on this little switch, if you can get to it after you pop off his hat again. Turn on that light and allow the power of Battle Call to power him up. And every time you talk, again, the light gets elevated, it, it shines a little more vibrantly. And it doesn't, it doesn't look too bad, it's just kind of weak. So, you know, then you can be like, you know, power up! And then he will power up. He'll have that flashing red light the moment noise stops. I said the moment noise stops. No? Oh, there it goes. So, you can do that if you want to. But personally, I don't. It's fun for kids. It's not fun for adults. I mean, it can be fun for adults because it's like, <laughs> flashing light. But it's not fun for me personally. I, I don't really care for stuff like that unless it actually has like noises or voice clips or something. Which is why, again, I talk about how this is a $30 figure along with Meteor Fire, and there's nothing other than a light-up feature with some Energon armor. And, and that's all well and good, that's fine, but I just can't justify paying that much, even though I did pay that much. Uh, very hypocritical, I know, but TF Addict here for a reason. Addict by name, Addict by nature. That's my answer to everything from now on. So there you go, there's all 
the stuff that he does and comes with and all of that. Now, I'm going to cut away for a brief moment because at the time of this recording, I don't have the size comparison with me. But for size comparison, here he is with the previously reviewed Battle Call Cyberverse Meteor Fire. And I, I got to say, I like the, the very diverse difference between these guys. I, I think they look really cool. Um, Wild Veal's still my favorite. <laughs> I just really like him. He's Clint Eastwood Con, what can I say? And um, because someone in the comment section told me about this, and I failed to do so, I now have dedicated this moral obligation to do so, to make this right. Here is Meteor Fire next to Thrilling 30s slash Titans Return Legends Class Cosmos. Whose head on mine is very loose for some reason. I don't know why that is, but whatever. I can't find my Thrilling 30s one. That's the better version, in my opinion. They're both the same, but it's just tighter joints and such for me. This copy is not the greatest. I will say that much. But anyway, there you go. There's Meteor Fire with Cosmos. Meant to do that. Completely forgot. I mentioned Cosmos as well, and she is in the show. Spoiler. But, you know, there's that. And there's that. So back to Wild Wheel. Um, he's definitely a lot of fun. I thoroughly did not think I would like him as much as I did. I, again, I've been saying that a lot with recent Transformers figures. Like, I really think that he is definitely a lot of fun. He's very enjoyable. You can definitely get some cool poses out of him. You have a lot of fun play features with him. Like I said, working holsters, which I think is amazing. Um, you have the first Transformer with an actual cowboy hat that actually is required for robot mode because you can't have a cowboy without his hat. It's like a samurai without honor. Um... You know, I mean, he's just a really fun figure. Again, I want to point out the whole battle call gimmick with the, the lights and the Energon armor. I think it's fine, but it's not for me. I think it was cool on Meteor Fire because you had, like, this nice vibrant blue light, whereas with for Wild Wheel, for some reason, he has a red light that has, like, green in him. Now, if they did, like, purple armor and a purple light, I think that'd be neat. But it just kind of contradicts and it doesn't shine as vibrantly as Meteor Fires does. Because when Meteor Fires light lights up, it's blue on blue translucent plastic. So, but on this, it just makes him look like a Christmas tree. <laughs> um, but I definitely say he's a lot of fun. I really do love the overall character. I love the figure itself, for simplistic as it may be. Um, you don't really need, you know, um, intricacy in every single Transformers figure. The fact that you can just get a character the best way you possibly can, is all that works for me. And the fact that we actually got Wild Wheel, we got Hammer Bite, we got Iaconis, which I'm actually surprised we're actually getting the War Titan. Um, you know, we got uh, Cybertronian modes of Bumblebee, Megatron, Starscream, and Optimus. Um, you know, we, we got Rack and Ruin for crying out loud. Like, there are so many characters that have never had toys or that have never really properly had these type of forms or even these new characters are actually having a chance to shine and they're not shining as bright as they should but the fact that they're like part of the toy line they're part of the cast i'm happy with it i i'm very happy with it because i i love adding new characters to my collection that's like my thing so when i see a new transformer new care or new transformers character as well as a transformer i buy them or her because that's the, the, the world of Transformers is so diverse and it can be explored in so many different ways and I just, I thoroughly really do enjoy the the very vast amount of characters there are out there and the new ones constantly joining us like almost every day. So by all means, I strongly suggest that you guys definitely pick Wild Wheel up because while he's not necessarily a necessity to your collection, he is a very fun addition to it as well as a very nice addition to your Cyberverse Decepticons. So pick them up if you want to, because I recommend, so you can decide. But that's pretty much all there is to say, my fellow addicts. A huge thank you to all my patrons on Patreon who are still supporting me to this very day. Without you guys, it would not be possible. And just a huge thank you to everyone for just tuning in and watching. These videos are fun to make. This is my livelihood now, and I am having an utter blast with it. So I really hope that I can continue to transform your entertainment one video at a time, and I really hope that you guys enjoyed this for as simplistic as it may be. I'll save the flashy reviews for the Generations and Studio Series stuff, and maybe the Deluxe Class Build-A-Figure line from Cyberverse as well. But that's pretty much all I have to say, my fellow addicts. 
So this has been my video review on the Transformers, Bumblebee, Cyberverse Adventures, Battle Call, Trooper Class, Wild Wheel. And I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. And please remember, my fellow fanatics, until next time, to get addicted, stay addicted, and TF Addicts for life! This is TFA1024, the TF Addict, rolling out! Tell all our one, for now.